Cause it teaches me everything I need to Assalamu alaikum boys and girls. Are you ready to continue learning more surahs from the Quran? Well, how about we go to my friends from around the world to learn more about the Quran and other interesting facts. My first friend is Halima from China. I love the Quran. I love the Quran because it teaches me. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My name is Halima and I am from China. Here in China, we have over 60 million Muslims. But some people with knowledge say that there could be close to 200 million Muslims. Subhanallah! This makes us amongst the largest Muslim countries in the world. I'm full of love, I'm full of life, give thanks for my smile. I do what's right, feels good inside, I'm filled with delight. Cause Allah is by my side. And the prophet's my guide. Islam came to China through Muslim sellers way back in the year 681 AD. That's about 70 years after the Qur'an was first revealed to Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Today, there are over 3,500 mosques all over China. Many children come to the mosque to learn and memorize the Qur'an. Did you know that here in China, we had the largest war in the world? It is known as the Great War of China. The war stretches over 8,000 kilometers. You should come and visit us to see it, inshallah. She loves the Quran. Surah An Nasr is a very interesting surah, which I learned from my older brother. It was revealed to Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam after the Battle of Mecca, when Allah gave victory to the Muslims. This was a very happy time for the Prophet because he loved Mecca so much. It was here in Mecca that Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam was born, and where the Quran was first revealed to him. Surah An Nasr was revealed to Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam in Medina. I will now recite Surah An Nasr. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إذا جاء نصر الله والفتح ورأيت الناس يدخلون في دين الله أفواجا فسبح بحمد ربك واستغفر إِنَّهُ كَانَ تَوَّابًا The meaning of Surah An-Nasr is when the victory of Allah has come and the conquest and you see the people entering into Allah's religion in crowds then glorify the praises of your Lord and seek His forgiveness Indeed, He is ever accepting of repentance From this surah, I have learned that if you are close to Allah and have patience, then you will never lose.
Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam went through a lot of hardship while trying to bring Islam to his people. However, he never gave up and stayed patient and relied on Allah. Eventually, Allah gave him victory. I also learned the importance of asking Allah for forgiveness. Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam was a prophet and only did what Allah was pleased with. Yet, he still asked Allah for forgiveness every day. May Allah forgive me for my sins. Amin. China sounds like a fascinating place to visit. The Great Wall of China must have taken such a long time to build. Did you know that China has the largest population in the world with over 1.3 billion people? Many in China ride their bikes to work. This is a great way to stay active and fit. Now let's go to my friend Ali from Egypt. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My name is Ali and I am from Egypt. Egypt has around 80 million Muslims and has been the land of many prophets such as Musa and Yusuf alayhi salam. In my country there are many famous places such as the pyramids and the Nile River. The Nile River is the largest river in the world. Most Egyptians live near the Nile River because it provides water, transportation and excellent soil for growing food. People from all over the world come to Egypt to study and memorize the Quran. <laughs> Being able to memorize over 6,000 verses is one of the great miracles of the Qur'an. And I am so thankful to Allah that I have been able to do this. Alhamdulillah. Surat al-Masad was revealed about Abu Lahab, the uncle of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Abu Lahab used to be very cruel to him and his wife also joined her husband in making the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam suffer. She used to throw thorns along the path where the Prophet walked. Surat al-Masad was revealed to Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in Mecca. I will now recite Surat al-Masad. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم تبت يدا أبي لهب وتب ما أغنى عنه ماله وما كسب سيصلى نارا ذات لهب وامرأته حمالة الحطب the meaning of Surat Al-Masad is Perish are the hands of Abu Lahab and doomed is he. His wealth and his children will not benefit him. He will be burnt in a fire of blazing flames and his wife too, the carrier of wood. Around her neck will be a rope of twisted palm fibre. Surat al-Masad teaches us a serious lesson. Allah punishes those who abuse or harm Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Allah will punish Abu Lahab and his wife in hellfire because they were very cruel to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and rejected his message. Another lesson I have learnt is that despite people being cruel to Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he never became angry or abusive to them. Rather, he stayed patient and made dua that Allah would guide those who were not Muslim.
Our beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was such a loving, caring and generous person. I want to be just like him, insha'Allah. I love the Quran, I love the Quran, because it teaches me... Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My name is Noor Din and I live in Malaysia. Malaysia has over 10 million Muslims and Islam is our official religion. In Malaysia, we have lots of beautiful islands. One of the islands I love the most is called Sabah. There you can find the largest flower in the world called Rafflesia. And it is magnificent, Tabarakallah. We also have lots of yummy tropical fruits such as guava, watermelon, papaya and dragon fruit. Malaysia is blessed with vibrant tropical weather which allows a wide variety of delicious fruits to grow. I'm feeling calm, I'm feeling good, just like a Muslim should. Like a Muslim and should. every day, in every way, I feel true. I began memorizing the Quran at the age of four. Alhamdulillah, I have nearly memorized the entire Quran now. One of the surahs I first learned was Surah Al-Kafirun. It was revealed to Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in Mecca. Al-Kafirun means the disbelievers. The Quran was revealed over a period of 23 years, in Mecca for 13 years and 10 years in Medina. I will now recite Surat Al-Kafirun. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قل يا أيها الكافرون لا أعبد ما تعبدون ولا أنتم عابدون ما أعبد ولا أنا عابد ما عبدتم ولا أنتم عابدون ما أعبد لكم دينكم ولي دين The meaning of Surah Al-Kafirun is Say to the disbelievers I do not worship that which you worship and you will not worship that which I worship and I will not worship that which you are worshipping, nor will you worship that which I worship. For you is your religion, and for me is mine. He loves the Quran. Surat Al-Kafirun has taught me that Islam is a tolerant religion and does not force anyone to practice it except for those who choose to. I love to give da'wah to others and invite them to Islam. You get so many rewards if they accept your invitation and become Muslims. You even get rewarded just for giving da'wah. The surah also teaches me that we must stay firm in our belief and worship Allah. And we cannot mix our belief with the belief of other religions, such as imitating the disbelievers in their acts of worship. I love learning Allah's beautiful words from the Quran. They make me feel so at ease. Malaysia is one of my favourite countries to visit. Did you know that the largest city and capital of Malaysia is Kuala Lumpur? I have so many friends in Kuala Lumpur. And I can't wait to go back there, insha'Allah, so I can eat some yummy fruits. Now let's go to England, where my friend Khadija lives. I love the Quran, I love the Quran, because it is... Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My name is Khadija and I am from England. England is part of the United Kingdom. The United Kingdom has over two and a half million Muslims, many of which are new Muslims, just like my mother. 
My mother accepted Islam when she was a young teenager after reading the Quran, Alhamdulillah. She now teaches Quran at my school. Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, The best among you is he who learns the Quran and teaches it. When I grow up, inshallah, I also want to become a teacher. Surah Al-Ikhlas is an easy surah to learn and memorize. It's only four short verses. Allah revealed Surah Al-Ikhlas to Prophet Muhammad wasallam in Mecca after the idol worshippers asked him, O oh Muhammad, tell us the family tree of your Lord. So Allah revealed Surah Al-Ikhlas to explain to them that Allah has no family tree. He is only one and has always been this way. Subhanallah. I will now recite Surah Al-Ikhlas. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم كل هو الله أحد الله الصمد لم يلد ولم يولد ولم يكن له كفوا أحد The meaning of Surah Al-Ikhlas is Say He is Allah, the one and only Allah the self-sufficient he does not give birth, nor was he born, and there is nothing that can be compared to him. Although Surah Al-Ikhlas is a short surah, it explains so much about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It teaches us that Allah is the only one that can be worshipped, and he does not have a son, a daughter, or any partner. He can't be compared to anything in this world that we know. Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said that Surah Al-Ikhlas is equal to one third of the Quran. This is because its message is so important in Islam and it symbolizes the Muslim's true belief in Allah. So by reciting Surah Al-Ikhlas three times, you get the reward of reciting the entire Quran. Isn't that amazing? I love the Quran, I love the Quran, because it teaches me. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My name is Ahmed and I am from Morocco. Morocco is located on the west coast of Africa. We have over 35 million people here, from which 99% are Muslims. My country has many beautiful historical and natural sites. Throughout history, a variety of empires have been present here, such as the Roman Empire, Byzantine Empire, and Islamic Empire. Did you know that the highest mineral in the world is here in Morocco, in the city of Casablanca? It is part of the Hassan II Mosque, and it is 210 meters high. In Morocco, you can hear the Quran being recited from the mosques on a loudspeaker, which is such a beautiful sound to hear five times every day. My older brother has memorized the entire Qur'an. He leads the Taraweeh prayer in Ramadan and recites many chapters. He has such a lovely voice and recites slowly and beautifully, which sounds so wonderful. SubhanAllah. Surah Al-Falaq was revealed to Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in Medina, which is known as the city of the Prophet. It is the city where Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam migrated to in the year 622. The men who traveled with the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam on the Hijrah were called the Muhajirun, meaning those that made the Hijrah. This Hijrah event is what began the first year of the Islamic calendar. 
I will now recite Surah Al Falaq. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قل أعوذ برب الفلق من شر ما خلق ومن شر قاسق إذا وقب ومن شر النفاثات في العقد وَمِنْ شَرِّ حَاسِدٍ إِذَا حَسَدٍ The meaning of Surah Al-Falaq is Say, I seek refuge with the Lord of the dawn and from the evil of everything he has created and from the evil of the darkness when it comes and from the evil of those who practice witchcraft and the evil of the envious person when he envies I have learned from Surah Al-Falaq that it is very important to ask for the protection of Allah from all evil things such as magic and the evil eye. Before I go to bed, I blow gently into my hands and recite Surahs Al-Ikhlas, Al-Falaq and Al-Nas and then wipe my hands over my head and body. Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam taught us to do this three times before we go to bed every night and it will protect us until the next morning insha'Allah. Thank you Ahmed for reminding us of this important message. Yes, it is very important to always recite Al-Ikhlas, Al-Falaq and Al-Nas three times each before you sleep at night. You should also recite Ayat Al-Kursi and say SubhanAllah 33 times, Alhamdulillah 33 times and Allahu Akbar 34 times. Then you say the dua for sleeping, Bismik Allahumma Amutu Wa Ahya. It is very good to make wudu before you sleep and remember to always try and sleep on your right. Assalamu alaikum, my name is Sarah and I'm from Bosnia. Bosnia is a small country and has over 1 million Muslims. My country is very beautiful with many lush landscapes and mountains, but it can get very cold in the winter. During the cold evenings, my sisters and I cuddle up in warm blankets and my father tells us great stories about the prophets from the Qur'an. The Qur'an contains so many wonderful stories to learn about. My favourite story is the story of Prophet Yusuf salam, which is known as the best story in the Qur'an. Surah An-Nas is the last surah in the Qur'an. The Qur'an was revealed to Prophet Muhammad وسلم, when he was 40 years old in the cave of Hira. Did you know the first word revealed to him was Ikra, which means read or recite. Muhammad وسلم, advised us to read Qur'an as much as we can to gain rewards and strengthen our Iman. I love reciting the Qur'an it makes me feel so warm and close to Allah, my Creator. I will now recite Surah An Nas. A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytanir rajim. Bismillahir rahmanir rahim. Kul a'udhu bi rabbin nas. Malikin nas. Ilahi nas Min sharri al-waswas al-khannas Al-lazhi yuwaswisu fi sudur al-nas Min al-jinnati wal-nas The meaning of this surah is 
Say, I seek refuge with the Lord of mankind, the King of mankind, the God of mankind, from the evil of the sneaky whisperer, who whispers into the hearts of mankind, from among the jinn and mankind. Surah An-Nas reminds me to always ask for protection of Allah from shaitan, the devil. Shaitan always whispers evil thoughts and ideas into our hearts and minds to try and make us do bad things. Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said that during our sleep, Shaitan ties three knots at the back of our heads and he whispers to us at each knot, The night is long, so keep on sleeping. If we wake up and say Alhamdulillah, then one of the knots is undone. When we perform wudu, the second knot is undone. And when we perform fajr salah, all three knots are undone. So we get up in the morning feeling lovely and bright. If we don't do this every morning to pray fajr salah, then we will get up feeling dull and depressed. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My name is Mustafa and I am from France. Alhamdulillah, France has over 6 million Muslims. It is the fastest growing religion here and in Europe. Many people who read the Quran are touched by the words of Allah and are guided to the beautiful religion of Islam. Subhanallah. Did you know that France is the number one tourist destination in the world? France has many other famous places to visit. Most people come to France to see the Eiffel Tower, which is in the city of Paris. You should come to France and visit us, inshallah. Surah Al-Fatiha was revealed to Prophet Muhammad wasallam in Mecca, and it is the first chapter in the Quran. It is also the first surah I learned where my parents were teaching me how to pray. Surah Al-Fatiha is the most recited surah in the world because we recite it at least 17 times a day during our five daily prayers. Our prayer is not complete unless we recite Al-Fatiha in each raka'ah. He loves the Quran. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين اهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين آمين The meaning of this surah is In the name of Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful All praise be to Allah, the Lord of the universe The most gracious, the most merciful The master of the day of judgment you alone we worship and you alone we ask for help. Guide us to the straight path. The path of those whom you have guided and not the path of those who have earned your anger and not the path of those whom you have led astray. When I recite Al-Fatiha, it reminds me that Allah is very merciful, kind and forgiving. It also reminds me about the Day of Judgment when we will all stand before Allah and be asked about every little thing we did in our life. If we stayed on the right path by obeying Allah and His Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, then we will enter Jannah and stay there forever, insha'Allah. However, if we were on the wrong path and did not obey Allah and His Messenger Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, then we will be punished in hellfire for our sins. Thank you Mustafa and all my friends from around the world for teaching us about the Qur'an and interesting facts about your country. Al-Qur'an is full of wonderful stories and lessons for us to learn. We should spend a lot of time studying 
and memorizing the Qur'an so that we can benefit in our lives and also teach others. Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said that the best of you are those who learn the Qur'an and teach it. Remember, always be good to your parents and kind to others. Assalamu alaikum. Muhammad said every single day we're learning something new we're learning with Kazwa about healthy foods to eat Tima loves to teach us new things every week learning is fun learning with Zaki learning is cool at Omar and school we learn about Allah and what Muhammad said Every single day we're learning something new Oh yes, we love to learn in school It's so much fun and cool To eat your food and veggies To stay fit and healthy That's why we love to learn every day with Saki Be good to my father And better to my mother Keep my room tidy And put my shoes